who touch me. Rescue the Parishion here. In Matthew chapter 9, verse 21, it says, For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. Father, you continue to place your word upon our hearts. Help us, Lord, that your word may gain preeminence in our lives. Help it, Lord, to germinate and bring forth fruit. Continue to be with us in a very special way. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Our little thought for today. I'm reading from the book, The Ministry of Healing, under the fourth chapter, which says, It was a poor woman who spoke these words. A woman who for 12 years has suffered from a disease that made her life a burden. She had spent all her means upon physician and remedies only to pr pronounce uncurable. But as she heard of the great healer, her hopes revived her thought. If only I could get near enough to speak to him, I might be healed. Christ was on his way to the home of Jairus. The Jewish rabbi who, en the Jewish rabbi who entreated him to come and heal his daughter. A heartbroken petition my little girl lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed. He touched the tender, sympathetic heart of Christ. And he at once set out with the ruler for his home. So while... This lady who has been suffering for 12 years was thinking, if I could only get close enough to this great healer. She knew in her heart that she would be healed. But Jesus was on his way to do another healing. But he continued to say the advance, but they advanced but slowly. For the crowd pressed Christ on every side. In making his way through the multitude, the Savior came near to where the afflicted woman was standing. Again and again, she had tried in vain to get near to him. Now her opportunity had come. Your opportunity have come. She could see no way of speaking to him. She would not seek to hinder him or to hinder his slow advance. But she had heard that healing came from a touch of his garments. And fearful to, 
of losing her one chance for relief, she pressed forward, saying to herself, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. Christ knew every thought of her mind, and he was making his way to where she stood. He realized her great need. God realized her great need. And he was helping her to exercise faith. Why do we find ourselves in certain situations? It's because God is trying to help us to exercise faith. As he was passing, she reached forward and proceeded in barely touching the border of his garment. That moment she knew that she was healed. Praise the Lord. In that one touch was consecrated the fate of her life. And instantly her pain and feebleness disappear. Just one touch from the great healer will cause your life to be made whole will cause what you are suffering with to be healed. Just one touch. Instantly, she felt the thrill as an electric current passing through every fiber of her being. There came over her a sensation of perfect health. Once we get connected with Christ, perfect health will be ours, brethren. We won't have to be studying about corona. We won't have to be studying about cancer. We won't have to be studying about anything that will cause death to our being. One touch from God. She felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. The grateful woman desired to express her thanks to the mighty healer who had done more for her in one touch than, than the physician had done in 12 long years. But she did not. With a grateful heart, she tried to withdraw from the crowd. Suddenly, Jesus stopped. And looking round, he asked, Who touched me? Who touched me? Looking at him in amazement, Peter answered, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee, and thou say, sayest thou who touched thee? Everybody had touched me, Jesus said. For somebody rather, somebody had touched me. Jesus said, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. He could distinguish a touch of faith from the casual touch of the careless throng. God knows the touch of faith. When we start to exercise faith, brethren, God can distinguish that of any careless touch. And that is very important. Someone had touched him with a deep purpose and received answer. Christ did not ask the question for his own, his own information, brethren. He had a lesson for the people, and that is the lesson for us today. He had a lesson for the people, for the disciples, and for the woman. He wished to inspire the afflicted with hope. God wants us to exercise faith. He wished to show that that it was faith which had brought the healing power. The woman trusted, the woman's trust must not be passed, but without comment. Her trust must be recognized. God must be glorified for her grateful confession. Christ desired her to understand that he Approved her act of faith. We know that once we exercise faith, brethren, as small as a mustard seed, God, we, God said we will be able to move mountain. What mountain do you have in your in your path? 
today? Is it a financial mountain? Is it a health mountain? Is it a mountain that we need to trust more in God? Is it a mountain that we need to pick up his word more? Exercise faith and we will get the hand of God to move, brethren. The reading goes on to say, God must be glorified by her grateful confession. He will not have her depart with a half blessing only. She was not to remain in ignorance of his knowledge of her suffering and his compassionate love. And for this approval of her faith in his power to save to the utmost all who come to him. God wants for you to touch him with that touch of faith today. That he will be able now to move in your situation. That he will be able now to reach you where you are. At. God wants you to have that faith and that trust in him. Jesus came as a perfect example and show us how to walk. Let us look at that great example and follow him every step of the way, brethren. You, God wants you, brethren, to touch him with that touch of faith. So the question God wants to say today, who touched me? Father, continue to add blessing upon your word. Touch that person today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have any prayer requests, brethren, feel free to comment below this video. Or also you can private message me and let us lift up your situation towards God today. God bless you.